Welcome to the farm. Today we're going to learn about growing soybeans. Sometime before planting takes place, the soil will be tested to make sure nutrients are in balance, which helps the farmer raise a healthy crop. The farmer would be checking soil pH, phosphorus, and potassium. If they're out of balance, adjustments can be made before planting. This field will be planted using the no-till method. No-till means the soil is not disturbed in preparation to plant a crop. A special equipped planter will be used to accomplish this. No-till is good for the environment. It saves many trips over the field tilling and loosening the soil, which saves fuel and keeps the air clean. It conserves water by keeping the last year's crop residue on the surface just like using mulch in a garden. That mulch conserves soil by preventing soil erosion caused by excessive rainfall or wind. The planter places the seed in the soil at a precise depth under the soil surface with precise spacing between seeds. These seeds will be about three inches apart in the row and the rows will be 15 inches apart. That equates to about 150,000 seeds per acre, which is the size of a football field. The seed will be about one inch deep. The seed bins are on top of the planter, and the individual seeds are delivered out to each row where a slit is made in the soil by rolling coulters. Soybeans are used in countless places in our daily lives around the world. Soybean oil is a popular cooking oil and when the oil is removed from the bean, the leftover part is called soybean meal, which is consumed by livestock for a protein supplement. Soybean oil is environmentally friendly because it is biodegradable and is used in foods, paints, cosmetics, inks, fuels, and many other places.